Hi, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. I have a special treat for you this week as I join Brad Cooper of Frame Up Now, the premier supplier of CFS, Cold Form Steel Buildings, ADUs, homes, utility buildings, other industrial buildings. And we're going to answer the question in this interview with him, is steel construction more expensive or less expensive than wood framing? Is wood framing cheaper? Well, stay tuned. I think you're going to come away a lot more illuminated about this whole issue, the pros and cons. We'll see you on the other side. Will steel frame ADUs save you money compared to wood framing? Well, that's the question we're answering today. Hello, I'm Dirt Farmer Jay of DirtFarmerJay.com and welcome to this edition of Fun with Frame Up Now. I'm joined by Brad Cooper, one of the founders of Frame Up Now. How you doing, Brad? Good. How are you today? I'm doing great. I understand Frame Up Now is the premier provider of panelized steel framing components for ADUs, that's accessory dwelling units. But how often do you hear steel framing is more expensive than wood framing? I hear it what's every your, day. So what's your <laughs> response? Well, you know, I'm an owner of the company also, but I also am a builder. And uh, so I'm faced with a question every day from clients. Um, in, the, in the end, uh, metal framing is a little more expensive. However, the benefits far outweigh the the cost of the the product itself um so, there's so, so many, there are so many reasons why metal framing makes the product a quality product um for starters um when we send you a product that is completely panelized and uh, the trusses are completely done we give you a map so essentially as a homeowner you're allowed that you can put that up yourself and save all those costs so there, in that factor right there, can save you a lot of money over wood framing. If you have to hire a general contractor, then you're going to have to pay the labor on that. But we allow you the ability to go ahead and do this yourself by taking the guesswork out of knowing how big a window frame has to be, how big a door opening has to be, and how to frame those things in. So it, it takes that guesswork out and it allows you the ability to do it yourself. Wow, sounds uh, compelling. Uh, you mentioned if someone is using a um, a contractor. Mm -hmm. um, so if the contractor is using your system, mm -hmm. is the time to erect the building greatly compressed, shortened as well, and therefore the time to occupancy is compressed a bit too? How's that the work? The time to put it up um, is, is definitely compressed. Um, like I said, we bring everything out that's panelized. So you're following just basically a map to put the thing together, and you can put that up in half the time that you can do a wood frame construction. I've actually seen one of these buildings uh, that you were putting up, and it was, um, without using hyperbole, pretty astounding how quickly at the end of a work day that a moderate-sized crew had done. Uh, I mean, they were on to putting on uh, the trusses and, and part of the building. All the perimeter was out. Up, there were things going up in the inside. All that. It it was pretty astounding to see it. So, is this the kind of experience that people should expect if they use your approach and your product? Most definitely. Um, with that type of approach you're talking about, we did have experienced framers, so they know exactly what's going on. They're faster at it. However, it does allow the homeowner to still be able to do that, maybe not in the exact, uh, or in that same speed, but they can do it and right save on. themselves. Right on. Now, it, you know, I think kind of like two different categories where uh, there could be savings using steel framing. One is during the construction of the building or the ADU, the accessory dwelling unit itself. And the other is long-term. So while it's being built, how does the method of building, the squareness, the flatness of the wall, how does that affect the trades that are typically used and the finishes in there? And how does that suppress costs that, you know, offset the cost, the initial cost of the steel framing? Sure. Um, the subcontractors that I use for hanging doors in particular or doing my trim work, um, the doors openings themselves are very true and square. 
So hanging a door in them is very simple, very minimal amount of shimming. Um, so they hang extremely simple. The closets, when you're building a closet out, if you're up against walls that have warps in them or there are curvature in them, you're constantly having to what's called scribing the shelves to fit the walls. So you're having to trim the shelves in the back to make them fit square against the walls. With the uh, steel framing, that's completely eliminated. Everything huh. is flat. So when your shelf stock goes into your closets, it goes right in flat. Same thing with countertops. When you're doing your countertops on your uh, kitchens and uh, bathrooms, when those are fabricated, they come in with a, a square or a flat um, surface on the back that literally can be set on the countertop and be done. There isn't any of the scribing on that. Also, we're grinding it away. Same thing with backsplashes. When you put a backsplash on a wall, it's flat. There's none of the extra shimming it out or trying to push it back against the wall and caulking it in to hide those big joints. Right. Tiling. No more, lump, no more lumpy walls. No right, more lumpiness. No more right. lumpiness. So, and you just start to say tile. I mean, when you're working with a non-flexible material like ceramic tiles or those yes. kind of things, terrazzos or whatever, uh, explain how that is also affected. Well, when you're building your showers, um, you know, 95% of your shower walls are flat. So with the steel framing, um, it, it it makes them exactly flat. Whether your wood in the is in the back, you're going to get warpage from the the lumber and your walls are not going to have that flat surface. Mm. You go starting to set tile up against it. Your tile won't set flat. So your, most of your tile setters have to do what is called floating out the walls and making them flat so that they they're prepping the walls so they can put the tile up on them. Well, with our system, the walls are dead flat. Um, ah. Immediately the tile setter can start putting them on the wall from square one. So building a shower is usually about half the time of building a shower over wood substrate. Got it. So these are some of the things that really um, stress costs during the building, uh, not only because uh, material is more efficiently used, but also the trades can get in and out faster. Therefore, time is money, right? That's right. That's right. Okay, so so the the a home can be delivered quicker for occupancy. Now let's look on the other side. I've moved into one of these homes that've been built uh, using the frame up now construction method. Uh, what are some of the things I'm going to enjoy long term as a result of choosing this path to build? That's one of the nice things I've I have noticed. Um, the drywall inside you don't we don't see any of the cracking anymore huh? um, when you have uh, lumber you have all the expansion and contraction of the wood um, with the humidity or the drying out. So with the, um, you see a lot of drywall cracking in the corners usually, um, or even in, along a seam. Whereas with the steel, that's virtually eliminated. Um, you don't have any of the drywall pops from the screw holes. Um, ah. we, don't, we don't get any of that. So it, as far as the maintenance goes in that perspective, it's almost non-existent. Same thing on the outside. The stucco, we don't see the cracks in the walls anymore. Um, siding, same thing. You don't see that movement um, in the exterior. And when you have wood beam porches and whatnot, we use steel columns and steel beams. We don't have any twisting, warping, rotting, anything on the porches anymore. So the maintenance is virtually eliminated. Love it. So uh, there's savings both during the own, uh, during the construction process and then long-term ownership. I remember living in a house once where this door kept always swinging open. Yes. And I uh, realized uh, after I looked at it that the opening, the stud beside the door had warped. It had actually gone belly out. And so therefore the door was tilted. It was always wanting to leak wind open all of that stuff is eliminated when you use the system that frame up now offers it is nothing moves once it's in place it doesn't move love it hey brad thanks for pulling back the curtain on what can end up being unpleasant surprises both during the build and during long-term ownership uh, my experience has been when we're well informed and we have like the big picture in mind it allows us to make great decisions and a great decision 
would be to look us up on the website at frameupnow.com or to contact us in person at 888-864-0184. And when someone calls in, what do they need to have with them? Can they be in different stages of construction and all that? Or what, what are some of the services they can expect from you? The best thing to do would be to call in with a, a plan that you have in mind, or you can look up our plans on site, on our website, and uh, we can either design something for you, or you can take something directly off the site. Sounds great. Hey, Brad, thanks for joining me today. Thank you. Until the next time, this has been fun with Frame Up Now. We'll see you in a future episode. And there you have it, some authoritative answers about the true cost of different building approaches, something for you to consider. If you found that to be helpful, you should check out this other video where we did another interview with Brad Cooper about some of the other benefits of using steel studs or steel building uh, structures and how that affects the overall longevity of the building and the true cost of ownership. Take a look at that and I think you'll like it. While you're at it, check out this other video that YouTube thinks you're going to like. We think you're going to like it too. Thanks for joining me today. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com.